Good day class! Welcome to another lesson in RE2 and today we will discuss the code of ethics. So are you ready? So what is a code of ethics? A code of ethics is a statement of goals, commitment, and responsibilities. How about the code? A code means a system or regulations before making your commitments as to the pattern or system of your life. Contemplate first on the sayings of Jesus that will give you a hint in making your code of ethics. Let's take a look at this short video about what code of ethics is all about in the business world. Never before have we talked so much about integrity and how the lack of it may result in an imbalance and instability in our business activities. The aim is to pave the way for a more ethical society. For example, if your company's integrity were a bottle of pure apple juice, what quality fruit would you use? What if all the production stages of the juice were the transactions your company conducts with partners? Just one rotten apple in the juice will ruin your entire product. However, you can implement four basic attitudes to ensure no bad apples compromise the quality of the whole juice, and you will generate trust and credibility in the market. See below. Create a code of ethics and conduct. Identify any conflict of interest. Establish a reporting channel. Train your employees in your integrity policy and communicate it. Everything starts with your code of ethics. Consult with your manager. There you have it. That's a short video telling us the importance of the code of ethics in the business world. The same is true in our individual lives. Code of ethics is important. That's why let me share to you the tips in making your code of ethics. Firstly, make your code of ethics simple, short, and easy to follow. Do not make a code of ethics that is complicated and very long and hard to be accomplished. Use simple words or short words that are easy to understand and follow, like respect or give, among others. And be sure that it is easy to memorize and follow. So you can use this as a guide for everyday life. The next tip is include realistic goals, commitments, and responsibility. Be sure that you, when you make your code of ethics, you're able to accomplish them. Example here is this code of conduct. Seek the truth first and find ethical pathways promptly and urgently. Ask better, tougher questions than anyone else and be 15 minutes early. So be sure that whatever you put into your code of ethics, you are able to follow them and apply them on your daily lives. Example is this mindful engagement and you can explain it as well or unconditional empathy. So be sure that you are able to follow it and apply it in your life. The third one is review and revise if necessary. If you had made your code of ethics, be sure that you are able to review it one by one. And later on, try to revise it into a shorter and words that are easy to recall and understand. Fourthly, post your code of ethics on the place where you can read it daily. So be sure that when you make your code of ethics, you're able to see it every day and it will serve as your guiding light to do what is right and what is proper in everything that you do. And finally, pray and put into practice your code of ethics. Remember that prayer is a very important tool that we can use in order for us to be guided in our decision makings in life 
it is coupled with our intuition, reason, as well as your faith in God. So put everything into the hand of God and be sure that He will accomplish everything according to His will. So these are the examples of the saying of Jesus as you formulate your code of ethics. The first verse here, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you in Matthew 6 verse 33. The code formulation example is, I will seek the kingdom of God all the time. Another example is found in the verse Matthew 5 48 it says be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect example of the code formulation is I will seek the kingdom of God all the time and the last verse says love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you in Matthew 5 44 and the code formulation is I will love and pray for my enemies I hope that you'll be able to formulate your own code of ethics and make it as your guide in your daily living as you commit it all to the Lord in prayer. Remember, Proverbs 16.3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. That's all for today. Thank you, and I hope you'll be able to formulate your own code of ethics and follow it every day to god be the glory